What up, YouTube? It's your boy Darius. I want to thank you guys for watching. Yeah, you guys will be anywhere else in the world. But you're hearing me. I really appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe to your boy. Leave a like. If you guys have any recommendations, leave in the comment section. They get to it too, as soon as possible. We're about to do right now by react to NBA trades are broken by Jimmy Highwaller. As you guys already know, you know, a lot of trades have gone down at the NBA deadline last week. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, Kyrie went to the Mavericks. Um, KD went to the Phoenix Suns. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Lakers finally traded away Russell Westbrook, you know. Uh, they went to the Jazz. They, I, I didn't think they ever going to, um, I didn't think they were going to, uh, trade away Rus Russell, but, like, but they did. So, like, so, and, uh, I'm sure Jimmy Hartwiller had, had, like, had a good video to make about this. I know Flight already reacted to this, so, tell me about do about react to this video. Nothing, blah, 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 they get straight to the video. Big news involves Kyrie Irving, who, according to Woj, is expected to take. Yeah, Kyrie, man. After the Nets traded him, he, anno he annoys the me. The deal that ends Great player, but just annoying. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I did not see that really coming too. Kyrie Irving to the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, this is huge. Luke is finally gonna get some help. Kyrie is free. But what's Kevin Durant gonna do? He's trapped in Brooklyn with Brick Shot Ben. <laughs> Punk ass Ben Simmons, man. Damn it. Sorry about that. You know, I'm trying to, um, like, install, like, updating on um, my Microsoft thing, even though I'm using right the now. MacBook. How is he going to dig the Nets out of this one? Breaking news. It won't! The Nets uh, are not, they're no more, at least as they start yep. this season. I honestly thought, I legit thought that the Kevin Durant, I legit thought Kevin Durant was going to stay um, for, uh, for the rest of the year. Wow. You know, but he did request a trade last uh, last summer, so wow. Well, uh, that escalated quickly. Yes, In it a did. In matter of seventy-two hours, the Nets went from having two generational players Sorry about that, man. Set a title this... to having Cam Johnson answer triple single himself. The Nets <laughs> just went from legitimate contenders yep. to a full-blown rebuild in literally three days. Yep. Well, NBA trades are broken, and I don't know if there's a way to fix them. Let's see, he, Jimmy Hardwell is Okay, you know, like, Jimmy Hardwell got to get paid, you know, like, I, I can't, can't hit him on, hate on him on that. So let's get straight to it, right here. What do you get when you combine an all-time great offensive talent yeah, with one of the artist. greatest players of all time with arguably the most skilled player to ever touch a basketball in yes. championship pedigree? You get That should have won at least one championship, but... Like, but the team was just toxic. You know what I'm saying? Jay Harden, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, and like, I always gave Jay Harden flack. You know what I'm saying? I think he, I still think he's one of the most overrated player. You know, like, great, to, great offensive, but this dude can't play defense. But, but, but he didn't join the Nets to want, he want to win the championship. And he felt like Kyrie was on that BS. And yes, Kyrie was on that BS. So, like, so he requested a trade to the first 70, 70 sister, which was a good thing because now that they, they got the choker of Ben Simmons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know KD. KD, KD, KD at least, though, is doing everything in power to win, to win, but it didn't never work out. Seven playoff wins, two first-round sweeps, and yep. the biggest disappointment of a team in NBA history. Fact. And that's no exaggeration. This Fact. Nets team that has quickly came and went. And they play only 16 games together. And, and they won 13 of those 16 games. Ain't that crazy? Over the last three seasons is, without a doubt, the biggest flop of a team I have ever seen. Yep. Three generational talents in their prime, all teaming up in a league that I would was say Tim Hardaway was in the prime. for any team to rise above the rest. And somehow, this trio and then duo fell flat time and time again. The combination Back. of this that was a beautiful sweep too. one-two punch, absolutely nothing at all. I was still reeling myself back in from the shock of the Kyrie Irving trade when news broke that Kevin Durant was being shipped off to the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, so that, I was shocked too. About this 72-hour saga being that the Nets handed over two all-time great players for pennies on the dollar. Trading Kyrie Irving is one thing. At the end of the day, I get it. The man didn't want to be there. The writing was on the wall. Yeah. Got to get what you can out of the inevitable transaction. But and, and in fact, that it just uh, I I don't know I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be Kyrie friend. You know what I'm saying? I, no, 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 I, no, 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 no. I wouldn't say his friend. I wouldn't even want to be his teammate. But I'm sure that he's a cool dude off the court. But uh, it's like he caught he caught too much distraction. But 
The Slim Reaper. KD, I will play. Waterboard me into trading that man. You could dangle me by my ankles off the face of a 10 story building, mob style, and I'd say my prayers before trading away Kevin freaking Durant. Same but here. No. Instead, the Nets opted to take what they could and decided that now is the time to start a rebuild. What did they get in return for the mega duo of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? Nah, well, damn let's dude. see here. Spencer Mikkel Bridges, Spencer Dinwiddie, two solid players, a guy that doesn't play basketball two future mm. first round picks and five eighth graders i mean Damn. this is getting out of hand at what point are we going to come to the realization that a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush especially when the bird in your hand is one of the greatest players to ever lace up I get it. Distressed asset and whatnot. But do you know how rare it is to have a player like Kevin Durant playing for your organization? There are Where? teams that have never, ever had a player like Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant play for their team. And not only did the Nets get honestly nothing out of these guys, they got little in return for these guys. Not very sure. little. That's a whole lot of picks that very well could become great players in the future. But do you know the odds of drafting a player of Kevin Durant's caliber? Well, considering there's uh, 12 uh, guys in the history of basketball that were better than him, I'd say the odds are slim to none. Yeah. It's the classic four quarters for a dollar transaction that we are seeing more and more often in today's NBA. In theory, this makes sense. I give you four quarters and you give me the dollar. We both end up with something different, possibly something that works a bit better for both of us, and we end up with assets of equal value. Mm. Except, this isn't in theory. This is the NBA. One Kevin Durant is worth more than seven assets that are significantly worse than Kevin Durant. In real mm. life, I could just go and get another dollar. But in the NBA, you can't just go and get another KD. In the NBA, the dollar is vastly exponentially more valuable than four quarters and yet these trades just keep on happening take a great proven player and get cornered into trading him for multiple assets that may or may not add up to the value of that one player and this my friends especially under these circumstances rarely pans out but of all the takeaways from these two blockbuster deals, I think the biggest realization that I've come to is just how bad the Timberwolves have railed themselves with <laughs> the Rudy Gobert trade. Yeah, because that was you bad. you argue that the Timberwolves gave up just as much for Rudy Gobert. Yeah, like, yeah, they gave up pieces, too. You know what I'm saying? Michael, Malik Beasley was is playing his ass off, and now, and so is Vanderbilt, and now they play for the Lakers. Pat Bev, he wasn't playing for the Lakers. Now, now, now he got waved by the Magic. So they, and all the, wow. The Suns did for Kevin Durant. The Timberwolves thought they were trading 10 dimes for a dollar, not knowing that Gobert was actually a counterfeit bill. So did the Suns get <laughs> That's a great funny. deal, or did the Timberwolves get fleeced? Well, it's a whole lot of both. And I've thought about this ever since the Gobert trade went down. When a player yeah, like that, Rudy yeah, Gobert I, can come I still in, say that trade did not make sense because, because like, they already had like a big man of cat. You know what I'm saying? If I was there, I would have traded for Donovan Mitchell. I don't know what... I, I don't... I don't freaking know. I guess because Rudy Gobert is like a defensive juggernaut and all that, but... If players and four first hey, yeah, yeah, he definitely trade, not worth that much. what can a truly great player command? In retrospect, and even in that moment, the Gobert trade was so bad that it crashed the NBA trade market for half a season. But now that we're really? back on track, you can still get your hands on star players. It'll just cost the next decade of your franchise to do it. Regardless, these moves are good for the league. Luka finally gets the help that he desperately needed, and the Suns get a crucial piece that could put them over the top for a title run. Let's I mean, see. Time, Let's see. Let's see if the Suns can finally do it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like the Suns, they went to the NBA final three times, and it failed to do it. Three, like 1976, 1993, and what? Like what year? Um, 21. So let's see if they can finally do it. Because, like, because if the Suns can, uh, if the Suns were not able to go all the way and go all the way to the uh, to the finals. You know what I'm saying? They get eliminated um, by, let's say, what, the rest of the come for final. Then, like, that, like that, that team is a huge bust. Let's be honest. Let's be perfectly honest. And same for the Mavericks. Let's say the Mavericks you know, go all the way to a rest of the come for final. They get, they get eliminated by the fucking Clippers or the Grizzlies or even the Warriors. That that would be embarrassment. But, we'll see. their brains see. trying to figure out what they need to get back to the finals and have a real shot to win it all. And the answer was staring them in the face all along. Just trade for Kevin Durant. 
But looking back on the failed experiment that was the Brooklyn Nets, that was I think terrible. the most disappointing part is that we never really got to see the full potential of this duo. They did not even play a full season together. That's the they, they only played 74 games. Think about it. 74 games. That 82 games in a season. They never play a full season together. That's just sad. It always felt like right when they would gain some momentum, something would happen. Durant would get hurt. Yep. Kyrie would stir up some controversy. Yep. The basketball part of things was always good. It yep. just felt like compared to all the other distractions, there wasn't a whole that lot was, of basketball going on. And that's the thing with Kyrie. He's just a distraction. Who would want that? What? These two simultaneously. In fact, out of the four seasons and 280 games that took place while Kyrie and Durant were on the net, they only played together 87 times. No, it was 74, but whatever. And that is a basketball tragedy. But I'm interested to see how the Suns look with Kevin Durant. I anticipate they'll go on. I, I'm ready to see, see how everything looks, looks now. Come playoffs, if they are especially, healthy, especially the I damn think they're Lakers. capable of taking down any team in the conference. And now that the Mavericks have strengthened their backcourt, I am hopeful that Kyrie Irving has been rejuvenated and we can see him and Luka at full strength. We'll see. And uh, rip the nets. I guess it was good while it lasted. And now the Nets are stuck with Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. That's bad. That is bad. I, I, I You can't even make that. The joke is in the cell. Ben Simmons. That's the joke right there. Ben say that with confidence. Let me know what y'all think. Who won these trades? How does this change things for the Nets? Definitely Mavs? not the Brooklyn Nets. how does it change things for the Suns? Let me oh, know man, I'm talking to the so, We'll see. And as always, until next time. All right, that's another good video by um, Jimmy Highwaller. You know, like um, this was uh, he had a lot of great points and everything. Uh, the one thing I'm definitely interested in is, is you know the Lakers and see how how well they can do uh, without uh, Russell Westbrook. But but we'll uh, we'll discuss that uh, some other time. What do you guys think of this video? Let me know. Comment down below. Little guys, got to kill boy. You can check my pre Jimmy Highwaller field out here. Peace up, rock and roll.